Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. India. Top 40 hit makers. Literature a la Seuss. The short form. Animal Farm, and 21st Century History. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. With more than 4,300 species, lizards make up the largest living group of this animal class. Okay, player one. Oh, sorry. That's wrong. Anyone else? Yes, player two. You got it. <laughs> player two, where do we start? Let's take it over to Jimmy. In the South, soups, greens, and bean dishes get added flavor from this part of the pig, referred to by an alliterative name. Let's hear it, player one. Great, you're back into it now. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. The scaly armor that surrounds the armadillo is composed of plates made of this. It's formed by ossification. Okay, player three. Mm. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Bone. Player one, back to you. No laughing matter. In Africa, a dozen of these can reduce a 500-pound zebra to bones in 30 minutes. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Right. We return to you, player one. Thought to be bad luck by natives, the eye eye is a lemur, so it's no surprise it's only found here. Yes, player two. That's correct. <laughs> player two, start us. The international airport in New Delhi bears her name. It's player one. Oh. Mm. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Indira Gandhi. Player two, you pick again, please. Jamshedji Nata, an important businessman of this movie capital, used his wealth to enrich it. Okay, player one. Correct. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Make a Hester looked at the frock. She looked in dismay. Do you have it in something other than A?
Okay, player one. <laughs> That's correct. We return to you, player one. Bench presses build up the pecs, short for these. It's player one. Yeah. That's right, way to go. Player one, you pick again, please. The Random House Historical Dictionary of American Slang has an 1896 citation of diff, D-I-F-F, -F, as short for this. It's player one. That's right, way to go. Player one, choose again. Answer, it's the Daily Double. You are in first place. How much? Answer. Rad, meaning excellent, was truncated from this. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Select again. The Cosmo girl doesn't just look good, she can have a convo. Short for this. Player one. Hey, you're right. Please pick again, player one. One of the perks of my job is knowing that perk, meaning a benefit, is short for this. Player three. Woo! Right, on the plus side again. Player three, make a selection, please, as we continue. George said, no, Lenny, no, I won't get you a guppy. You think I've forgotten what you did to that puppy? Player two. <laughs> That's right, way to go. Player two, start us. As the new leader of India, Lal Bahadur Shastri led it into a war with this neighbor in 1965. Here's the correct response. Pakistan. You get to pick again, player two. The winner of the 1913 Nobel Prize for Literature, Rabindranath Tagore, was born in this former capital in 1861. Okay, player three. No. <gasps> Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player one. Woo! Right you are. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player one. Here's Kelly with the clue. The gesture here typically accompanies this common Indian greeting, from Sanskrit for to bow. Yes, player two. Yep. <laughs> player two, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? In 2001, she became the first first lady to win elective office, becoming a senator from New York. Here's what we were looking for. Hillary Clinton. Please pick again, player two. This 2005 hurricane was the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Player one, you start. Benedict XVI succeeded this pope as head of the Roman Catholic Church in 2005. Okay, player two. Good for you. Player two, you start us off. I sat there with Winston. We sat there, we too. But when busted for thought crime, I knew I was through.
Here's what we were looking for. 1984. Please pick again. Player two. No Brontes, just Dantes. Got sent off to Deef. But with Danglers, that Danglers, he had a big beef. Here's the response we were looking for. The Count of Monte Cristo. Select again. So on again, on again, from Laputa to Glub Dub Grib. I'm giving up something, something a flub dub grib. Okay, player three. Oh, oh sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. Gulliver's Travels. Player two, choose again. This cabinet-level department established in 2002 includes FEMA, the Coast Guard, and Customs. It's player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> player one, you start us off. In 2004, seven countries that were once Soviet allies were admitted as new members of this military alliance. Here's the correct response. NATO. Player one, back to you. What would you say? And crash into me. It's player one. Ooh. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. Player three, start us. 1230, young girls are coming to the canyon and California dreamin'. Yes, player one. Player one, you Brother Love's Traveling Salvation Show and Sweet Caroline. Yes, player two. <laughs> player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. Saturday Night Special and Woo! Free Bird. We're talking about Leonard Skinner. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. Harry Truman and 25 or 6 to 4. Here's the correct response. Chicago. Player 3 will select first in Double Jeopardy right after this. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Astronomy. Let's go to Suriname. Classical composers. U.S. Museums. Language Lab, and Awards and Honors. Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection. Since many of Suriname's workers come from India, this religion is practiced by almost 30%. Okay, player one. That's 
That's right. Way to go. Player one, make a selection, please, as we continue. Most languages of Western Europe get their words for read and write from this language's leggere and scrivere. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Hochdeutsch is the modern standard form of this language. It's player two. That's it. <laughs> player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. In 1762, this six-year-old and his sister performed for Empress Maria Teresa. Okay, player two. Aww. No, sorry. Any other takers? Yes, player three. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make a the pinyin system for writing this language in the English alphabet was officially adopted January 1st, 1979. It's player three. Woo! That's correct. Hey, you're on the plus side. We return to you, player three. You can get customized Grigri bags at the historic Voodoo Museum on Dumain Street in this city. Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Good. <laughs> player one, you start us off. In French, Hier Henri Meme, Yesterday Henry Loved Me, is an example of this flawed past tense. Let's hear it, player three. Good. <laughs> player three, you're in command of the board as we continue, right? Douglas Hyde, also known as Ancrethan Ethan, fought to preserve this language and founded a league of the same name. Okay, player three. Ooh, sorry. That's incorrect. Any other takers? Player two. Yep. <laughs> Player two, you start. In a 1667 deal, the English got New York City, and these people got the territory that would become Suriname. It's player two. That <laughs> is correct. You get to pick again, player two. A powerful presence in the country is Suralco, part of this giant metals company. Player two. <laughs> right you are. You again, player two. Suriname is wedged between Guyana and this dependency. Yes, player three. You got it. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make us about half of Suriname's 439,000 people live in this capital city. Yes, player three. That's not it. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? We're talking about Paramaribo. Player three, choose again. With the demotion of Pluto, 
It's now the smallest, least massive planet. Okay, player one. Incorrect. Any other takers? Yes, player three? Right you are. Please pick again, player three. For several years, his friend Carl Amenda was one of the few people who knew about his increasing deafness. Yes, player two. Correct. Yeah. Where do we begin, player two? People. People who need Peabody's envy her for the Peabody Award she won for her 1994 HBO concert. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. To northern observers, the most brilliant part of the Milky Way is found in the Archer, this constellation. Here's the response we were looking for. Sagittarius. Player one, you pick a... From the Latin for kernel, this solid center of a comet consists of ice and dust particles. Yes, player three? Woo! Yes. <laughs> player three, where do we start? Yeah! Answer, the first of the daily doubles. Player three, you're in last place, so let's see if you can close. How much are you going to wager, player three? Answer. This critique of Pure Reason author called some fuzzy objects island universes in 1775. He was right. Right. <laughs> we return to you, player three. The constellation Coma Berenices, or Berenices Hair, was given its exact form by this Dane in the 1500s. Here's the correct response. Tycho Brahe. You get to pick again, player three. As this society has a long history, maps were the theme of a major 2007 exhibit at its museum, Explorers Hall. Okay, player one. Oh, oh no! Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. National Geographic. Player three, back to you. You can ham it up at a museum in this Virginia town. It houses a ham cured in 1902. The correct response is Smithfield. You get to pick again, Player 3. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center in this Alabama city contains a vast collection of rockets and space memorabilia. Yes, Player 1? Yeah. That's right. Way to go. <laughs> player 1, start us. An arm of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, the L.A. Museum of this, teaches about bigotry, racism, and the Holocaust. Here's what we wanted. Tolerance. 
Player one, back to you for our next selection. This actor dedicated his American Beauty Oscar to his friend Jack Lemmon, who had inspired him. Let's hear it, player two. Good for you. Player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. For the musical Sunset Boulevard, Hugh Jackman won two Mo Awards, equivalent to the Tonys, in this, his native country. Okay, player one. Good for you. Okay, let's get back into this, player one. The JFK Profile in Courage Award is modeled after a lantern from this frigate built in 1790s Boston. The correct response is the Constitution. Player one, pick again. Washington, D.C.'s theater awards are named for this first lady of the American theater. Player three? Good. <laughs> Player three, you start us off. During his lifetime, Johann Sebastian Bach was best known as a master of this instrument. Player one? No. Nope. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. The organ. Player three, choose again. Yeah. Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. Player three, you're in last place, so let's see if you can close. Decide on your wager, player Answer. three. He composed the Four Seasons in 1723. Right. Here's the $2,000 clue. On March 3, 1875, his Carmen premiered in Paris, and he was decorated with the French Legion of Honor. We're talking about Georges Bizet. You all move on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is the 1970s. So, what's your wager? And the last clue? For an historic February 1972 trip, Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger each learned to use these. Nixon was better at it. put as your response. And this correct response will add how much to your score? What did you say? And that correct response will add... Did you come up with the correct response? And that will set you back. Yeah. Player one, congratulations to you. So long, everybody.